diagnosed when I was 17 years old, so I had diabetes for about 21 years. Daily I work as a school teacher. It's morning and it's PE time. I love uh, exercise and doing a lot of sports because then I know that I have my diabetes under control. I will always say do 30 minutes exercise three times every week. Best exercise is walking outside uh, because you're not gonna feel any pain or but instead of just going out run 10 kilometers the first day, walk 30 minutes. When I've done that for, for a whole week, then I was thinking, okay, when, when I can rock for 30 minutes, I can probably run for about two minutes. And then I'll always put some more on it. In the beginning, I was walking about 30 minutes, and in the end, I ended up running a whole marathon. Yes, that's such a good feeling. Have a goal in for a year or in for a week, so you can look back and see, did I, did I do it okay or could I do some more? Set up some realistic goals that work for you as well. In the beginning, you are counting how many steps did I take, but later on, you just feel like you're getting more and more motivated to have this bigger and bigger goal, and it's becoming more and more fun every time you go out there. Of course you're getting nervous about getting low blood sugar when you do a lot of uh, exercise. When you do exercise, remember to check your blood sugar. I had a friend where I was going to the gym with and he got really low and I can always see it on him because sometimes he, he couldn't feel it but he was getting more and more white and I was always talking to him to take this smoothie or shake so he can control his blood sugar. It's really important to have this sweet in your bag because if you get a hypo, it can be really dangerous for you and always letting people around you know that you have type 2 diabetes. Don't be embarrassed. If you're getting a little bit white or you need to sit down, they always know where they can find your snack or your banana. Always a good idea to have a bottle of water with you or a shake with you. Always drink a lot of water when you're doing exercise. Run fast, run slowly. Run fast, run slowly. Get your pulse down and get it really, really fast up again. Get it down again and get it really fast up again. Stand up in the bike and push really high and drive really fast and then get low again to get your breath. You keep on have this kind of loop in your training, it can be really good. The muscle is gonna eat more sugar when you have this kind of difference of training. Be sure to check with your doctor before starting in exercise routine. Take it slowly in the beginning. If you have a half an hour break, use 10 minutes to do some exercise. Take your bike to, to work is gonna do something mental and for your blood sugar as well. Walking instead of uh, taking the bus from the station uh, is this kind of small thing that you can put into your normal day that's actually going to make it more easier for you to live with your type 2 diabetes. It's a really good idea to work out with others because it's getting more fun. My big brother has type 2 diabetes as well, so me and my brother is always calling ourselves brothers in arms. I think it's really important that you have this kind of relationships to another person. It's not necessary have to be a person with type 2 diabetes. So it's always inspired to see other people trying to do their best and always thinking that you always have to do your best. Before I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes, I didn't have any goals. I was feeling that I was becoming lazy. I was feeling that I wasn't, it wasn't Christian anymore. Now I'm living Christian's life, Christian's life with type 2 diabetes. And I feel quite lucky because I have this kind of goal. What can I do better for my diabetes? 